Morning, thanks for tuning in to another video on my channel. This is the DJI Action 2, and I actually use this a lot, I film quite a bit on it, but we're not here to talk about that today, we're here to talk about the recent, recently released DJI Osmo Action 4, and whether that is actually worth an upgrade. So let's go. Okay, first off, uh, the sensor on this on this thing, um, so it's got a 1.3 inch um, sensor, good uh, low light imaging um, qualities, and an f2.8 aperture, so nice and wide. It's actually quite a decent size um, sensor, particularly on a um, on an action camera. 10 bit um, ND log M um, color um, profile performance, because um, well, they claim over a billion colors. Um, so nice wide um, dynamic range um, and this is really good um, particularly when you want to do um, color grading so you can get some good um, good performance out of it um, from a color grading aspect. Uh, they claim up to 160 minutes um, battery life so that's um, actually quite um, long lasting but you know you never get as much as um, they claim. Um, you can take it into really freezing conditions minus 20 degrees Celsius apparently. Um, it's got the pre-recording in it, so you know you can set it up so that um, it'll just start recording. I think it's up to 30 seconds or 60 seconds, something like that, um, pre your actual recording, if you know what I mean. Um, so you never um, sort of miss a moment. What else? Um, do really good slow mo with it, so 4K, 120 frames per second. Um, it's got that nice um, ultra wide field of view, 155 degree. Um, which um, is actually apparently fairly close to the human eye. And there's the 360 degree horizon steady, so they've always, already, um, they've always been very good at that, um, you know, the horizon um, steadying um, part of action cameras. Uh, Rock Steady 3.0, which um, again, um, you know, part of the whole stabilization thing, so that's um, very good. Um, waterproof up to 18 uh, meters without a case, so for those that like to get uh, into the water and do a bit of filming, this is perfect. The two um, touch screens, both on the front and back, and they um, um, pretty much almost operate um, the same, so that's good. Something I like with the DJI Action cameras is the magnetic quick release mount, so um, the DJI Action 4 comes with that, so that's um, good. It really enables it really quick. Um, mounting and releasing and changing, um, you know, accessories nice and quickly. All right, it's got native vertical mode for uh, video, so for those of you that like to do reels or shorts or TikToks or whatever, um, you can do that natively um, from the camera with the um, the vertical um, footage. Um, so that's really good. Custom modes, so set those up as you like. Uh, it's got a quick switch button, so um, you can save your frequently used settings. Um, and then you can just use the quick switch to switch between your modes. So again, that just speeds things up, makes things um, easier. Uh, so that's really cool. It's got um, a, um, a better selfie stick um, removal. So for those of you that know um, sort of the Insta360 cameras, one of the things they do really well is um, sort of basically making the selfie stick um, that it's mounted to invisible. Um, the Action 4 has um, upgraded how they do that. Um, so it's not obviously 360 degree. The technology now um, makes the selfie stick um, disappear a lot better than it did before. So that's really cool. Other things it's got, um, voice interaction, uh, time code syncing, um, and a whole range of other things that I'm not uh, going to go into in this video. The difference between the Action 4 and the GoPro Hero 11, there's things that people like on one, there's things that people like on the other, where you know they feel there's a definite difference, one's definitely better um, than the other. Um, and then there's other things that actually you're really just splitting hairs and it really just comes down to personal preference. We'll be interested in seeing a comparison between the Action 4 and the um, GoPro Hero 12, which has literally just come out in the last couple of days or something. So I um, haven't seen any of those comparisons yet, um, but I'll be interested in that um, because I am looking at either getting the Action 4 or possibly the Hero 12. But in terms of DJI and their action cameras, um, I think the Action 4 is, um, is looks really good and I think is well worth an upgrade if you've got an older action camera um, from DJI, um, particularly um, like the DJI Action 2, um, which as I said I use quite a bit and actually performs really well, but I think um, skipping the 3, going to the 4 would be um, a decent upgrade. 
going from the action three to the action four. Yeah, there's things that have improved. Is it that um, big an upgrade? Probably not. Um, you know, maybe you hold out for the five, but you know, again, personal opinion. That's all I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to go from here, continue my ride, um, end up with a coffee because that's what I do on this channel. So as always, um, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if, to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be talking about more gear. Um, so keep an eye out for those videos. Make sure you give this video a like because that really does help the channel. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye.